Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut, and in this video, what I'm going to be doing is getting a little bit deeper into the application NeoFetch. Now, I have featured this plenty of times on the channel before. It's a cool little utility. You just type NeoFetch in the terminal. It displays that pretty little uh, text-based logo of your distribution, as well as a lot of other system information. So on my system here, I'm going to go down and actually open up my terminal, and you can see that this is what loads. Here, let's go... Uh, Control shift and zoom in. This, as you can tell, does not look like the traditional NeoFetch you are to expect. The Manjaro logo is a little bit different and I've taken out a lot of the system information from what is displayed by default. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to actually customize this and run the NeoFetch command when you first open up the terminal. So the very first thing before we get into the NeoFetch configuration, I'm gonna show you how to make it so that the actual um, command NeoFetch runs when you do first open up the terminal. So here I am in my home directory. Uh, depending what system you're using, you could use the, I think it's Control H command to show hidden files. This is a hidden file within your home directory. Or depending on what file manager you're running, you just go up to the uh, menu and make sure you're uh, seeing the hidden files. From there, you're going to want to go down and open up the bat.bashrc file. Once you open that up, you are greeted with this configuration right here. I'm gonna zoom in real quick just so you can see it all a little bit better. So what you're gonna to want to do when you open this up is scroll all the way to the bottom and then just type in the command you'd like to run. And what this will do is it'll run that command on startup. You can see I have NeoFetch here. Just for example purposes, let's say I, um, this is what it'll look like by default. So I go return, return and then you type in the command you want. Um, demonstration purposes, let's just do ls, save that, and then if I open up my terminal, you can see that the ls command is the uh, command that is ran at default, but I want it to be neofetch, so I'm gonna type neofetch, go to file, save, and then I open up my terminal, and then we can see that neofetch is the command that has ran. And you could do multiple commands too, you just return and then type the command you want, but that is how you do that. So now let's get into the actual configuration of NeoFetch. So we're gonna go ahead, close this out, go back into our home directory, and then from here we're gonna go into a folder called .config. We're gonna open that up, and then we're gonna go into a folder called NeoFetch. Here you will have a config.conf file, Go ahead and open that up with your preferred text editor. I am currently using Kate, so I'm gonna quickly resize this and zoom in so you can see what's going on here. Do, 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 do. Right here, we have the print info. You can see on mine, I have this little asterisk um, right before it. I'm gonna go ahead and change this all to what it was by default. So if I go ahead and get rid of these, you can see that there's an info uptime info packages, info shell, info window manager, window manager theme, uh, themes, icons, terminal, uh, terminal font, and I had memory up there. So now if I go ahead and go file, save this, and open up my terminal again, you can see it's starting to display the information that you would normally expect it to when you open up NeoFetch. Just putting that little um, hashtag in front, just like this, uh, we'll block out that and make it so it does not display. So you can pick and choose what information it actually displays. So now we can see that it has the um, uptime packages, shell, resolution, uh, DE, WM, and all that stuff there. Uh, below there's even more options. So if you're on a laptop, you can have the uh, battery life. Uh, you can have it display what font. So if I went ahead and added this, Let's say we wanted our local IP address and our users. So you could really have it display a lot of information. I'm gonna save that, open up our terminal, and then you can see now all the different information it displays, including the uh, default font I'm using on my system, my current local IP address, and the user that I'm on. So that's how you actually change what information displays. Another thing that's really cool is if we go down, um, you could go through and actually change a lot more settings than just that. Um, right here, for example, it's uptime. You can see that most of these settings are uh, 
blocked out, but you could go ahead and go into the wiki page for this and actually uh, go more into this and change that if you see fit. But we're going to go ahead and scroll down all the way near the bottom. And right here we see the ASCII distro. Now this is what will display for the image. So if I open up my uh, terminal again real quick, you can see this is the Manjaro logo I have displayed. And if I go back to that and scroll down to the bottom of this, and you can see right here it is set to Manjaro small. If I'm to take out the word small, for example, and file save that, open up my terminal again, you could see it is the Manjaro logo that you would normally expect. And you could go ahead and just type a command to display all this. I think the short code was actually in here. So right here, if we go ahead and grab this, it's the uh, ASCII, I'm probably saying that wrong, underscore distro. Go back over here and we'll go NeoFetch. Uh, zoom in here real quick so you all can see it better. Uh, paste that in. And then let's say Ubuntu. And let's see the Ubuntu logo. And then it will display the Ubuntu text logo they have. So that's one way to go through and actually see all the different things available. And there is a whole list of everything they have here, including some extra options. So for example, if I go down to the notes, it says that the uh, Arch, Ubuntu, Red Hat, and a couple others have old logo variants. So if you do distro name underscore old, you could see those. So let's see that for the Ubuntu one we just did. So let's do underscore old, hit enter. And then you can see the old Ubuntu logo that they had in there. And no matter what system you're running, you go ahead and change this right here. So just for example, let's play around and say I wanted to do Arch, which I believe is in here, just to make sure. Uh, that it's not, yep, just normal arch with a cap. So if I typed arch, saved this file, and then went into my terminal, and then ran the uh, neofetch command, you can see that it displays it with their arch logo. And then if I wanted to do arch old, which I believe it has the old version of that, run that command again, we have the old arch logo. So for me, I'm just going to switch this back to how I had it, which was the Manjaro small, just like that. And you could go ahead and actually read through this configuration file. There's a lot of cool things that you could do, including changing the colors around. You can customize and change just about anything with this NeoFetch display. Personally, I like it to be fairly minimal, kind of how I had it in the beginning with just a few lines with the small logo. It makes opening up the terminal just look better adds a little bit of uh, flair to the terminal. So that about covers our little uh, introduction tutorial to messing with the configuration file of NeoFetch, as well as getting into the Bash RC and having it run when you open the terminal. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. This channel is heavily supported by you guys, so make sure you're subscribed, leave a comment, like the video, and if you want to go above and beyond, support me on Patreon. There'll be a link down below. It will truly mean the world to me, and there'll be exclusive content, you'll get a shout out, things like that. Uh, other than that, I hope you have a beautiful day, there'll be more content to come. And if you've noticed, there's a whole different background going on here, it's all still in the works, I'm getting everything moved over to a new location, so you might see this changing every so often. Um, that's about it, I hope you have a beautiful day, and goodbye.